friends welcome to our channel in this video we are going to simulate the uh, electric vehicle with foc controlled induction motor regenerative braking and uh, engine drive cycle let us get into the simulation part the same model is available for download uh, from the link given in the description if you want you can download it and you can use it for your purpose so this is the model that we are going to simulate if you see the basic structure of the simulation uh, here we have the battery uh, then the inverter uh, then the inverter is connected to the induction motor so to the induction motor we have connected the uh, vehicle load so here we have used the mechanical input port uh, as the mechanical rotational port and here we have chosen a square gauge induction motor <coughs> So here we are connecting the Simscape model of the electric vehicle. Uh, so it is connected uh, <coughs> through uh, the transmission. So here we have the torque sensor which can measure the uh, torque which is delivered by the motor to the load. Uh, here the load uh, seems to be the uh, electric vehicle. So here we have the transmission. The transmission is linking the vehicle model. Here we have the vehicle model this transmission is linking the induction motor okay so let us open the vehicle model so in the vehicle model we have a, a, a structure which is connected to connected with four wheels so this is the rear left this is rear front right rear and this is the right front so here we have given uh, the wind velocity and the inclination to be zero here. So if you want to have some other values for wind, wind velocity and inclination, we can uh, give it. No issues in that. So let us open the vehicle model. So these are the values uh, uh, that we have given as input to the vehicle model. So this vehicle is assumed to be uh, weighing around 1500 1500 kg <laughs> so this is the uh, okay. before getting into that yes so here we have the drive cycle the drive cycle uh, is the indian drive cycle that we have used here uh, you can use any other drive cycles as well so this indian drive cycle will uh, run around uh, 108 seconds uh, so uh, the output will be in terms of meter per second <coughs> so uh, this drive cycle input is given to the next stage that is uh, uh, the F foc controller uh, part so here as you can see this is the svpw part and uh, to this svpw we are giving uh, alpha and beta frames of voltages okay so to give alpha and beta frames of voltages we need to give uh, uh, DQ frame voltage values. So for calculating the DQ frame voltages, uh, we need to uh, go for certain conversions and calculations. So these are the basic, or uh, I mean the major thing to, uh, to which the entire thing revolves around. So as you can see here, we are doing few things. Uh, the first thing is the reference speed. So to this reference speed, we are comparing the actual speed. So this actual speed will be uh, calculated or it is measured uh, from the uh, bus selector port, which is connected at the outputs of uh, measurement block of the motor. So with the reference value or reference speed, we are comparing the actual speed. The error is calculated. Then we have the PA controller. This PA controller uh, will be producing uh, ID, I mean IQ, uh, current IQ reference so with this IQ reference we are comparing the actual IQ so in parallel to that we have ID so this ID is calculated from the reference value of flux okay so this is the reference flux and from the reference flux we are calculating the uh, reference ID direct axis current okay so this direct axis current is compared with the actual uh, direct axis current okay 
so this actual direct uh, actual direct axis current uh, is compared and the error is calculated so the calculated error uh, is given as input to the pa controller <coughs> so let us start the simulation uh, so uh, see here we have uh, two things parallelly going one is the uh, vd calculation and another one is the vq calculation vq reference calculation and vd reference calculation uh, so these two things are happening inside the current loop and this happens to be the outer loop outer speed loop and these two are the inner current loops okay so to uh, to make things happen we need to calculate the actual id and iq actual direct axis current and actual quadrature axis current so to calculate that we are going for uh, this conversion we need to convert uh, the actual uh, sine waves uh, if you see the uh, waveforms of the three phase currents it will be in the form of a sine wave so this actual sine wave uh, has to be converted to dq frame the reason for that conversion is uh, we cannot implement a PA controller uh, for a sine wave. Okay, the sine wave will be varying continuously with respect to time. Uh, say, for example, it, if the sine wave varies around 50 hertz per second, it is very, very difficult for the uh, PA controller to track that uh, varying quantity. Okay, so in the case of AC, we'll be always going with uh, ABC to ID conversion. Okay, so here we have uh, the conversion. To have the conversion happening, we need to give I A B C. Also, the very important thing is the theta, the angle. Okay, so the angle has to be calculated. So for that calculation, we have another one uh, block. This block will calculate the theta from the values of I D and I Q. Okay, also from the actual uh, speed actual speed of the motor okay so by calculating id and iq we are uh, we are deriving at the values of uh, direct axis voltage and quadrature axis voltage okay so uh, here we have these calculations and after this we are going for these conversions Okay, ID and IQ conversion. This ID and IQ will be uh, compared with the reference ID and reference IQ. So after this error, uh, at this point, okay, at this point, we have uh, VD, and at this point we have VQ. Okay. So the simulation is running now. So VDQ and here we have theta. Uh, so here again we are going for uh, DQ to alpha beta conversion. See from alpha to alpha beta conversion, alpha beta to uh, I mean after this we can have alpha uh, beta to ABC conversion. If we are going with uh, sine PWM, here we are not going with sine PWM, rather we are going with SV PWM. So if you are sticking with SV PWM, there is no point in going with sine uh, PWM. So here we have the batteries and we shall open this. So as you can see the simulation is happening. So here we have uh, the line voltages, uh, then the speed and finally the torque. So this is the reference speed of Indian drive cycle. Uh, so our vehicle is trying to uh, track the uh, Indian drive cycle keenly. So in some cases there will be some undershoot and overshoot. Uh, 
so uh, at these points here you can see the regenerative breaking happening see that can be very well understood by uh, seeing the production of negative torque okay see here you can see the negative torque so this negative torque uh, this negative torque uh, indirectly means that the power flow is from the wheels to the battery okay so at this point in time we can see the we can see the uh, soc of the battery as well okay so during this time the soc of the battery will increase so as you can see it is running perfectly so here we can see the uh, battery parameters like soc current and the voltage So these are the uh, points where uh, the motoring action happening and these are the points where the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the regenerative braking happening. So here the uh, current is rising. So uh, the model is about to get stopped. So thanks for watching. Please do uh, share our channel and uh, please press a like button. Uh, thanks for watching again.